So I'm here at the Upper Deck booth with uh, designer Danny Mandel, and he's going to show us a little bit about the new Versus uh, system. Danny? Hi. Those are my cards. All right, so uh, this card right here, your Wolverine, this is your main character. So uh, each player starts with a main character. The object of the game is to KO the other person's main character, or, or in playing three players, all the other main characters. Right? Um, so let's just go over uh, what, how a uh, main character works. So your main character starts at level one. This is the silver background. It says L1 up here. During the game, he might be able to level up to his level two version, which looks like this. Uh, it's more powerful. Okay. All right. Uh, you know, that's his name, his card type, his team. He's an X-Men. He's an Avenger. Um, these are their uh, powers. We'll come back to that in a second. I'm just going to skip down to here. These are uh, the main character stats. So Captain America has two attack, five defense, uh, three attack, four defense. Uh, and then this is how many wounds they can take before they're KO'd. So five wounds on Wolverine or Captain America, they're knocked out, game is over. All right. I'm going to come back to powers in a second. I'm going to show you the regular card types. Uh, there's three card types. There's uh, supporting characters, plot twists, and locations. Supporting characters have the same basic uh, stats as a main character, attack, defense, uh, health. It all works the same way. They, just, they fight exactly the same. Um, the difference is supporting characters have a cost, and you're going to bring them out to play in the middle of the game, whereas the main characters start and play. Uh, um, and they, uh, usually supporting characters have fewer wounds than, than the main characters. Um, uh, plot twists are like tricks and stuff you do in the middle of combat or during your main phase to give your guys a bonus or to hurt your opponent's guys. Um, for the most part in the game, you can only do stuff on your turn. Some cards have this any turn symbol, which means you can do it on your opponent's turn. Um, and you'll see uh, some superpowers down here when we get to them also have the any turn symbol. That means you could use his snicked ability on an opponent's turn, whereas Captain America's uh, Avengers Assemble ability uh, can only be used on Captain America's turn. Okay. Right? Um, locations are played in... So let me talk about the, how the, the basic turn flow for a moment. Uh, on your turn, you're going to draw two cards, you're going to recover and ready your guys, and then you enter your build phases, which is where you're going to play a resource and you can uh, uh, play supporting characters. Uh, so on, during your turn, you can take one card in your hand and you can place it face down in your resource row, just, just like in old versions, uh, where, where it's worth uh, one resource point uh, to recruit guys. If it's a location, you can place it face up. And then during the game, you can see these different superpowers. Thor has lightning strike. Uh, that requires an energy location. This requires, a, that's the skill symbol. Um, but the way that works is, let's say I want to use Captain America's power. I go, right, so it's my turn. I go, all right, it's my main phase. I'm going to use Captain America's Avengers symbol. I turn this down to pay for it. Okay. And then once this is down, it's down for the rest of the game unless an effect turns it turns it back face up. Okay. Uh, and that and that's how you use powers. Uh, in in versus two PCG, uh, whenever you do use a power or play a plot twist, it just happens. There's no like back and forth where you know where you're gonna then you're gonna counter it or anything like that. It's like I go, I'm using his ability. It happens, and then we just move on. Um, let's talk about combat. So in, just like in old versus, there's two rows. You, you're going to have your uh, front row and your back row. Uh, after you recruit characters, you'll have. A, I'll walk you through the turn sequence when we get there. But uh, you can uh, rearrange your guys in the formation steps. You can put guys to the front, guys to the back. Uh, the basic gist of it is here. Let's grab you. Uh, here, you can borrow my Thor. The basic gist of it is, guys can only usually attack from the front. You just go, all right, he's going to attack Wolverine. Uh, it's, I'm attacking, so I get to go first. I can use a power or play a plot twist. Then you can use a power, play a, play a plot twist, and back and forth until we're both done. Then we compare their stats. If my attack's greater than or equal to your defense, you get stunned, you take a, a wound. Okay? Uh, if a character only has one health, uh, that wound would just KO him. Exactly. If, if you take, if uh, Thor, for example, if he takes his second wound, he's KO. Right? And discard it. Um, so the result of a combat is either we bounce, like neither one of us has enough attack, we both get stunned, you know, we both have a ton of attack versus defense, or only one of us gets stunned. Um, so normally you can only attack from the front. Uh, if a character has the range symbol, so see the targeting symbol, that's Iron Man has range, uh, he can attack from the back row. Um, this is uh, especially good because they will only you, uh, they will only shoot back if they have range. So if Iron Man, for example, attacked Wolverine, Iron Man can't be stunned. It's just a safe play because he's, he's shooting at him. Um, normally, you can only attack uh, their front row. If they don't have a front row, you can attack their back row. Uh, however, if a character has flight, 
mm -hmm. he can fly over and attack the back row okay. unless they have a guy with flight in the front to uh, be in his way. Right. If a guy has flight and range, he can attack from back here, he can fly up in the air, he can shoot somebody in either place and they don't fight back unless they have range. So that's how combat works. Um, I've explained how superpowers work. Some powers just, uh, like his power, are keyword powers, they just do what you, you just do what they say. Mm -hmm. And then the last kind of power is the level up power. So you can see Captain America and Wolverine each have a level up power. Uh, the number inside is how much XP they need to actually level up. Okay. When Whenever you achieve the, uh, the level up condition, you put an XP counter on the level two version just to track it. Then once you reach that number, the level two version just, re just replaces the level one version in whatever orientation with however many wounds the level one version has. Okay. It's just like instantaneous. And now he's level two. You'll notice the level two guys, let me show you your guy. The level two guys, they have more stats, same number of wounds. Their first power is the same, but the level up power is replaced with a more powerful uh, secondary power. Okay. So that's the, that's the basic gist of it. I think I've probably covered more than we needed to get started, but let's, uh, let's battle. Cool, thanks Danny.